They have places to be in Oxygen. The floor is where they're sitting at right now. Looking at Vayne, Reed splits his attention right behind him, sends out the Cossack Barrel. I want to bring attention over to the pick rates that we just saw on top of our screens, by the way. Oof, you already know I'm not very happy, Dio, but it's just because of the stinky man who's made his way after season 20 into these legend comps, the mainstay comp, and it's the caustic. 19 caustics out of the 20 teams in this lobby. And really unfortunate for meat lovers who are already, already fighting at a disadvantage on the low ground. The Sentinels are no strangers to doing much the same as they move in through caustic gas underneath countdown. This could be the end of Sentinels. That one nade knocks Luda and Sanile is barely able to stay alive through the ensuing gas. Guys, put some respect on RKN's name out here. Putting himself on the board with changing up this composition, welcoming season 20. Xset drop from the high ground. There's another team of mine that I wanted to watch. Sends out the Nox nade. Fun. I'm not too sure if that nade actually just bounced off his teammates back, but Koifo is going crazy with this bolt. He needs energy ammo. He needs to rotate into that next circle. He can't get the res and Oblivion now moving while getting shot from behind, turning their entire backs to Native, who scoop up the remaining kills. We are just giving away kill after kill after kill. Native have survived up until the top three, but they will not make it any further. Having made a trade with Oversleepers, you know who that's given it to. It's the team that took the open ground early in the game. It's the team that duped Oxygen out of Landslide. It's drop-in gaming. It's very true. And it's, it's the risk in, in a way of not having a good position or not being able to fight LG even now. Running that risk themselves is only on blues. They do still have a great spot to fight for if they can make it work. Arcstar stick on the top doesn't actually hit anyone just yet, but gets a little bit of chip damage in following up it up with a grenade. LG, if they can take control of the inside of this building, have essentially won the fight. Could have been Slayer pushing up, but Sweet was so ready after that grenade hit. He said, I have to go get some damage. Can't get the knock though. And that's why it is so hard to fight against a Cossack, no matter what level their shield is. But that that will do it. This zone continues to pull into the south, and squads like Oversleepers wow. are gonna have to move into this, whatever this is. <laughs> Furia fully just aping Sentinels. Unbelievable. These two teams put themselves in one team is going home type situation. We both are not making it out of here alive, but just as I say that, Archean says, well, okay, let's change the rules of engagement. Maybe I'll stay alive, even though Luda and Zanile have already bitten the dust the chance for disguise to come up and take this game away from the suite has rightfully refocused but does not have oh, the man. shields unfortunately disguise get gunned out of the sky designful never places the exit portal and there's now no safe way up six kills so far uh for lg they're looking to add maybe four more here if they take care of this solo or this I can't furious wait. squad LG are actually taking this wow. fight. They could go out in third, and right now it's looking like they will. And at the same time, Jimmy somehow crests the hill. It's crazy, and it should never have worked. But Disguised pick up a second place finish off of this. And Magnus even dropping down just to finish the kill to collect one more KP is going to be unable to do it, giving another point to Disguised. It looks ludicrous, Rain Day, but this play from Disguise to survive until second place is so massive, and it is an unforced error from LG. What a moment. Furia takes it. Inside of the building, Diamond Gladiators take this fight with Blue Evos. Louis, incredibly low, but taking the different angle as his teammate that's right there to get free. Please provide some backup. And the Havocs are just blaring through these lobbies oh. in the last three games, and they keep going. TSM get eliminated as they were fighting their way outside of the building. But crazy to say TSM is that first team out of this lobby. Sends out the Nox Grenade up to the heavens. Destroys that barrel. What a placement oh. on that Nox gas. Are you kidding me? Well, look at Moist sitting pretty, Check. waiting to see if they can get some of these kills. They get the Nox as Duke runs back inside. And of course the bubble comes up just in time. And now it's Shotgun Meta, baby. MNK Kingdom with Crust dipping back inside. This could just be the timing for a third party. DNO disengaged shortly, but as we called it out, Moist see the knocks happen and come in to thirst some members of Meat Lovers who were left behind. Both teams still alive, but now Moist focusing on DNO. 
Man, Meat Lovers also get to escape with a rat. They send up the Nux. Yes, the Gibby is not safe, even with the PK in hand. Here comes Guild, the Prowler blaring through, and they take control over this building. DNO get eliminated with 17 squads left. Oh, you heard it. They couldn't even believe they got focused on, but they had no cover. There was a team playing from inside. It was even Lucian on the high ground, GKS on the low ground, and DSG still alive with only Design being the last one alive. He can't slide away. Disguise get eliminated in your feed. Likely gonna go down. Native have just a knockdown shield to play. A sliver of cover ju just underneath this bridge. Will it be enough? Sentinels have come in for the third party. Luda. Wants to pick up a few thirsts, a few more kills. This is just one for Sentinels so far, and they can look for so much more. Native go down top five for Sentinels. But if you can just take a few chunks out of GKS, LG could open things up for Gaiman Gladiators to walk in. They're taking to the skies. They are trying oh. to line on the side of the map that they know nobody okay. else is on. Wait, I love this. They have now put themselves in a better spot to potentially third party. Last two squads left. GKS get eliminated. Gaiman Gladiators, Louis falling low. They try to swap places here. And Gaiman Gladiators take out the duo that was left of LG. But that was still big because LG was able to finish in that second place spot. Yeah. Right now, though, the action with the Havoc. Timmy realizes, even with the turbocharger, he's got to make sure he tries to pre-fire that if someone's coming around, but the evac tower is a saving grace. It's going to be about movement. Disguised, they rotate late. We already know that, but two evac towers, they wave at each other up in the air. Stay naughty and designful. Red Eva 8. So he takes a little bit of damage. Man, that range is crazy. Players aren't used to it. An extra 20%. Uh, it's gonna happen here, especially on the ultimate. And so Koi trying to fire back and with the wingman, Eve 8, it's gonna be hard to beat them, but they're getting taken down. My goodness, Oriolis and drop in gaming are putting in work. Can Koi do something crazy? Oh, the wingman's good, but I'm not sure it's good enough. He can't capitalize off the rest of Fury is inside of this building, but he tries anyway. Well, he gets pinged from every direction. Koi gets taken out. That TSM having a chance to go up, they do. Skyward Dive in the air is Hal, Verholz, and Reps. Where they will land, no one knows quite yet, but we know Furia is on the ground. Second place going back and forth, ping-ponging between them and Disguise. But Furia loses one, and they lose two, and they lose three. Keon is out, and Furia is out as well with five squads left. Moist still, I think, in the best position here because they've been on height and they've got cover and no one can push them at all. TSM, I think, trying to go get KP, realizing it might be too much of an uphill battle to really contest against Moist, but it's Meat Lovers, TSM, and Moist in our final three as Gildersons looks to move down. You don't need a Digi. You don't need a Turbo. You got the Havoc here, and you're clearing up this space. He doesn't even have the Nox stayed. Waltzy doesn't even have the Beast of the Hunt. They're just frying everybody with these energy weapons. And from Pride Rock slides down Moist to take game number four on Stormpoint. Next two seconds could be deadly for Jaguars, though. And yes, they are. TSM rotate in behind them. And that's going to be the end of Legacy. One member left, one lone member of Legacy and caught between so many teams. They're out, so are Sentinels. And the ring is going to claim many more lives before this finishes. There are still not enough squads inside the next zone and so little space and checkpoint left for anyone to play. Normally the low ground is uh, is not good, but when you've got two teams in front of you, you should be able to third party effectively. Unfortunately, dropping Arcology early changes this dynamic. Oblivion are now weak on the low ground, and everybody is going to start committing into that area to be the one, ideally, that comes out on tap. That sort of last squad standing. Call in a Moby for what it looks like here for some extra cover. It's going to be crucial with all these teams looking at TSM here. Black Hole activated. Oh, Night Lions actually trying to call in. They actually try to push on TSM. This could grief both of these teams and be the green light for Furia. There are so few horizons in the lobby, but just the last one standing ruins DSM's game. Nine lies take them out. Well, they've got a bit of cover themselves. Don't have the manpower to fight. Instead, Furia down to just one. It's going to make this a real chaotic end game. Watson popping a bat behind knockdown shields. Left to attempt a third party off of the back of this. Gets the shield back. Immediately drops them again in a two versus one scenario. And the melee is going to be enough as nine lies go down. Watson comes in in the final 1v1. And Watson clutches game five for Furia. 
taking this fight over on the north side of checkpoint up on the high ground they see the team that's right next to them they jump off of the evac tower to take control over the roof nice scan here and before they drop down just trying to see if they can hold a different angle i love the different angles that we're seeing from nine lives they are playing this amazingly so far Remember, if any legend can do it, Horizon can finish a fight. Watch the use oh. of the ultimate as a Wope goes down. Nine lies. Gonna have to get a little bit panicked. Now as Nasty even almost falls. Senox really doing a lot of work with the Mastiff. And in comes the third party from afar. We may not even see a black hole to close this fight out because other squads will do it for you. Uh, Moist coming in at the perfect time as they usually do. Waltzy gets that knock onto Duplex. And now it's a matter of cleaning up on aisle three. Where oversleepers will actively gatekeep you. As soon as they just retreat right back towards the armory, huge cracks coming in here. That disruptor ringing in my ears right now. They do lose out on one right now, but he, he is him. And he's trying to, even playing off the low ground, playing off the lip, still finding some more of the suppressed fire. Has already taken down two. And with Verholz being forced to run away into the arms of another. And look how many squads that are going to have to exit out of Norpad exactly to exit. GKS take this fight to exit the Weir. Exit managed to come out on top versus Meat Lovers and GKS looking to restabilize with Chaotic Much. Now Red Shields on Nocturnal. And they manage everyone. Be it Oblivion, be it Dropping, be it GKS. Nobody can Ooh. step up to, oh my lord, Exit! <laughs> Sorcerer throws in a couple good nades. Oblivion go down, but again, still beamed from afar. We're down to the top three squads, and Exit are just gonna walk in and take this. Exit have no competition in the last game. Exit are your Lisan al Gaim taking the final match of the day and securing themselves a good spot in the overall leaderboards. From the calling to the vision, they saw...